Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft with Zilvin. Uh, since I turned the recording off last time, I basically just boxed myself into this tiny little corner for the night. Um, I did this uh, just basically to survive the night, and then I let the game run for that time, uh, so that you didn't have to hear me nattering throughout the entirety of the evening. So, um, now that I am back out, there was a couple of things on my to-do list. One was to find additional wool that I can use. Oh, looks like there was some skeletons roaming around. Uh, with additional wool, what I can do is um, actually construct a bed with wool and wood. Ouch. You have to be somewhat careful about dropping from heights at times. Just as a uh, future indicator, don't let me do that anymore. This should be more than enough wool, but I don't know. I got a little obsessive over it. And that is not coal. It is, however, iron. And that is also useful. Um, now, I already have a workbench back at my base, but it doesn't do me much good here. And uh, with the rock that I mined, I can actually make a stone pick, which is better than my wooden pick. And if I'm going to be mining this iron, then definitely help. Normally I find coal much earlier than iron, but uh, it doesn't really matter because I can't smelt it yet anyways. Now I'm going to beat this with my sapling. There we go. Maybe get some more wood while I'm here. Um, I don't know, I've always sort of uh, stayed underneath the tree and hit upwards in order to get my wood. I'm not sure why, it's just, I guess, what I've always done. Um, it's less movement because the wood just drops right down. Now, uh, I touched on this before, but if anybody has any comments or suggestions, for that matter, if anybody even watches these, just drop a comment and let me know. Um, uh, perhaps it's a bit of nihilism, but it n isn't necessarily a bad thing just to know that somebody actually is out there watching this. Gather up those saplings that fell. Now, back to the hunt for some iron. Er, not iron, coal. <laughs> so, what I really need to hope for is that without going too far from where I set up shop, that I will be able to find some coal. And if I can't, or at least if I cannot find my way back, um, then I believe I have the materials to make a bed so I can reset my spawn point. Um, I did have a pretty neat location for a base, but by the same right, coal is much more important, and if you're as directionally challenged as I am, you make do. When, uh, when I first started this game, actually, I didn't... Well, I guess I still don't have a clue how to get back home, but uh, when I first started, 
I would just actually kill myself. I'd throw myself off the highest location, or I would drown myself uh, in order to return to my spawn point. Um, this was terrible as far as trying to go gather materials was concerned because I couldn't actually go too far from home. These are pumpkins, um, which when combined with torches will make jack-o'-lanterns. Jack-o'-lanterns aren't really necessary right now, however in the future it's argued that will be. Um, torches right now will last perpetually. They don't burn out. Um, Notch is going to make it so that at some point they will actually burn out. You, Your torches will go out, they won't stay lit forever, whereas a jack-o'-lantern will stay lit. And... I don't know, maybe my search pattern isn't terribly efficient, but I still haven't found any coal. As far as um, inspiration for this, I um, there were two Let's Play series that I actually really enjoyed. Oh, and here is our coal that I was looking for. Right at the start of what looks like a natural cave system right at the surface. Interesting. I wonder how suicidal it would be to explore that without any supplies and the entirety of my coal. Anyways, um, Ko's Quest was a, well, I guess it still is, a Let's Play Minecraft series. Um, it's one of the more informative ones that I've found, and I actually thoroughly enjoy it. The other one is um, actually a number of video game uh, Let's Plays done by H.C. Bailey. Um, he's actually terribly entertaining, and not terribly in a bad way, just my expression. Um, if you're looking for some entertainment, I'd strongly suggest hitting either one of those up. I will toss links to their series in the description box. Here's a zombie. Oh, here's a couple of zombies. Oh, a creeper. I don't think I want to go down there even though there's coal. Hmm. Wow, look at those guys down there. Whew. I am surrounded. Well, not really surrounded, but I am definitely outnumbered. This is not very safe for me to be exploring right now, just because I don't even have a sword to smack things with. I say smack because really you sort of smack with everything in this game. There's no way to differentiate between slicing actions or beating with a club. appear to be no resources down this junction line. That's a touch disappointing. I will, however, have to return here later when I do have the means to explore further. For now, I'm going to take my... Hmm. How did I get down here? As I was saying, for now I'm going to have to take the uh, torches that I have made and get the hell out of Dodge. Wow, when you've already found coal, it's apparently also everywhere you look. Not complaining though. You can never have too much coal. Well, you can if you start a tree farm and then you don't need coal for a lot of your smelting and such, but generally speaking, uh, it just sits there and takes up space. It can never really detriment you. 
whereas not having any is a definite detriment. So, there's some more coal, and I am going to go try to find my way back home. Um, looks like it's getting dark out again, so I may just uh, do the majority of this search uh, at night. It's very dangerous. I'm likely to die, actually, in doing so. But I've done it before, and so it could be interesting. Um, actually, maybe because I'm unarmed, I might actually record it as my next video. Well, this has been Let's Play Minecraft. This is episode 2 with Zilvin. Um, I will see you guys next time. Well, I guess I won't really see you, but figure of speech. Have a great day.